This tutorial is going to be a crochet flower. Tell me about your favorite type of flower to crochet. Please share a comment in the comment section below or a video response. I am attaching a slip knot to the crochet hook. Take the loose end, wrap it over the main strand. Now you have a loop. Take the loop, wrap it over the main strand. Put your hook below the center strand, back up the opposite side. This creates the slip knot. I am using 4 ply worsted weight yarn and a size G. 4.25 millimeter crochet hook. Work a chain four. One, two, three, four. Join with the beginning chain. Work a chain one. Single crochet through the ring. Chain three. Single crochet right through the ring. Chain three. Single crochet through the ring chain three, single crochet through the center ring and I'm working right around the chain. We will have a total of six chain three loops. I'm putting my hook right through the center working a single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three. Going to join with a slip stitch, putting my hook below the two loops, wrap the yarn over, pull through, pull through the loop on the hook. I'm going to work a slip stitch, putting my hook right below the chain, wrap the yarn over, pull through, pull through the loop on the hook. This puts me over into the chain space where I'm going to be working round two. Work a chain one, work four double crochet through the chain space. That's one two, three, four, chain one, work a slip stitch in the same chain, slip stitch over to the next chain, chain one, Work four double crochet in the same chain. One, two, three, four, chain one, slip stitch in the same chain, slip stitch into the next chain space, chain one, work four double crochet, One, two, three. four, chain one, slip stitch in the same chain space, slip 
slip stitch over to the next chain space, chain one, work four double crochet. One, two, three, four, chain one, slip stitch into the same chain space. Slip stitch into the next chain space, chain one, work four double crochet in the same chain space. One, two, three, four, chain one, slip stitch in the same chain space, slip stitch into the next chain space, chain one, work four double crochet in the same chain space, two, three, four, chain one, slip stitch into the same chain space. I'm going to work a slip stitch to join Wrap the yarn over and I'm going to pull through a little bit of extra yarn. I may need it for some sewing. We have completed the round of petals. I have attached a new color to my crochet hook and I'm going to attach it around the post of the single crochet on the chain round. I'm going to work a chain two. We will be working two back post double crochet around each double crochet on the previous round. That's two, and I'm putting my hook from the back between the stitches to the front around to the back. Working one double crochet. and then working the second double crochet and I'm doing the same thing with the next this is stitch five
six. This is the last set. Seven and eight. Work a chain two. I will be working a single crochet. It will be a back post single crochet around the chain round single crochet and this is where we made the chain three. And I'm putting my hook from the back to the front around the post to the back. It may be challenging to see. This is how it looks on the front and you can see a little loop here. This is how it looks on the back and you can see how the yarn is extended down around the stitch. Work a chain two working the first back post double crochet. This is stitch two. We're working two around each post. We're now we're working on the next set of stitches. This is number four. Five. Six, seven, eight, chain two. I'm working the single crochet down here around the single crochet on the first round. We have eight stitches. And working around the post of the stitch is pushing the top part of the stitches up to the front, which is creating this little effect here. And you can see how the stitches are looped around the post down here. This is what it looks like on the back side. This is the front side. Chain two. Work two back post double crochet around the first stitch. That's two. Now we're working around the second stitch. Three, four. This is the third stitch. Five. Six, the final stitch, seven, eight, work a chain two, work a back post single crochet, chain two, working around the first stitch, work back post, double crochet, working the second back post, double crochet. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, work a chain two, work a back post, single crochet, chain two, This is what it looks like. We have two more petals to complete. Working around the first petal, completing the first two stitches, that's one, two, working the second stitch, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, chain two, back post, single crochet, chain two, we're working the last petal, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, chain two, And then join, wrap the yarn over, and I'm pulling through extra yarn just in case I need it at a later time. This completes the flower.